everyone and welcome back to my channel I've been picking some more bits and pieces up as per usual uh, Amazon has been my best friend this week so is my husband because he's the one that gave me half of the pennies towards this he's super kind super sweet and generous so I'll start off with the Disney is it, are you, are you pronounce it Vitralis Vitralis I feel like I'm trying to be posh saying that but the only reason that I got this is because I was enabled by two other YouTubers here uh, Kirsty from Colouring K and Debbie from Debbie Loves to Colour I saw both of them had this and at first I said to both of them I'm not going to get it there's too many small little bits and it'll give me a headache anyway I caved, I saw the colourings and they were beautiful so I'll just take my time with this it won't be a sit down in one night being able to finish it it'll be only not over a couple of days so I have already started a page, which is the Bugs Life page. I'm not going to be able to fit it all on camera, but there is uh, some really good flip throughs and reviews out there of this book. But it's two quarter superbly. I'm very, very impressed with the quality of the paper. So you'll see that finished at the end of the month anyway. But that's the first thing that I got. I wanted to make it the first thing that I showed you because it literally took the whole of my desk up. Right, with the next things I'm going to do it a little bit different. Um, I'm going to show you each of the things that I've got and I'm going to show you how they work because there's a couple of different things like these markers that I've got here. I didn't know what they did until I got them and played around with them myself. So I've done a little bit of purring. I've even wrote lists. I've even put black acrylic down on cardstock for a paint that I want to show you. But the first things, if you do hear little squeaks in the background, my daughter's meant to be going to sleep, but it looks like she's having a party in her bed. Anyway, so these are the Karin, I think that's how you pronounce it, Karin markers. So they do come in plastic cases like this. They come in a set of 12. Obviously I've took them out, so I've got two sets in here. And I've got four sets in here, so I'm just using my Simba mug that I brought back from Florida. It's actually too big to drink a cup of tea out of, so I use it for my desk. And then the container that my other mug came in, the Jasmine Beckett, with it, it fits the rest of them perfectly. Right, so these are non-toxic dye, the water-based markers, and the way that I've been using them. I will insert a clip here, somewhere around here, of a finished page that I've done with them. But the way that I've been using them, I've got my glass uh, cutting board, which is ideal. Any sort of porous surface will do the job. Um, I was using the Karen Dash. What's it called? It's right outside of me. I was using the Karen Dash mat for a while. So I would use it on the smooth side if I was using these pens. But now that I've got this glass mat, it just makes life so much easier. So there is a couple of different ways that you can use these. So let me just pick a colour, quite a bright one. But that's, I thought that was a neon. So this is just a plum colour. So you can colour it directly onto the paper. I have tried this on the Create Space, the Amazon paper, and it does bleed through, unfortunately. But um, anything better quality than that you should be okay just don't use a heavy hand and don't go over the same area you know more than once so I'll just zoom you in a little bit there so there's a couple of ways that you can use this you can just go in with the water brush and blend it out but you can see you're still left you know with quite a harsh line so the way that I've been using them come on camera still getting used to them just been going down on my board that noise <laughs> and just colouring it onto that and I'll either add water directly onto this or just pick it up with the water brush and it's more like a watercolour now so if I no harsh lines you can blend one colour into another which I'll do in a second this is watercolour paper that I am using, but I did it 
for the DePage. Oh gosh, which one was it? Well, I can't remember, but it's normal, it's normal paper, and this is the technique. It was a PDF that I did, so I can't remember what paper I've used at the time. Um, and that turned out just fine using this technique. So I'll just add a bit of pink. And I will go in again with the water brush. Just mixing the colours round. I mean, you can mix them colours into each other as well. Create your own colours. But as you can see, though, they do blend quite nicely together. Let's just mix a bit together. And then you make it completely different colours. So you don't necessarily have to go out and buy you know the six packs I do think there's a grey pack that's available which I didn't go for because I didn't think I'd, I'd use the grey there is a metallic pack of 12 I believe um, and then you can get the full the full set but at the time of me ordering these they weren't available so I just went for them single I actually just got one set at first just to see what I thought of them before going out and getting the full set and I'm quite happy with them I'm quite happy. Um, right. So, so with this that's left over here, I can either let that dry and then wet it again to use the pigment, you know, so none the waste wasted. Or oh, for the purposes of this video, I am just gonna wipe it clean. So there we go, good as new, gone. So that is the Karen markers, and I have wrote down they're around some of the sets have been £20, some of them have been £18.50, £21. I think it really just depends on the time of you ordering ordering them. I'll put this back on here. I've got some other ink markers that I wanted to show you as well. And they, they are the Jane Davenport the Mermaid markers. Right, now, I didn't use... I didn't... I didn't want to love these as much as I do because I thought, gosh, they're going to be the same. You know, I've wasted my money because these were a lot more expensive. These were £28.82 at the time of me buying them. I mean, and that's a lot for a small uh, pack of pencils. And I believe this is the old packaging. If you want to buy the new packaging with the new pens, I think it's £45. So it's the same sort of thing. So you can draw them onto your palette, your porous surface, glass underneath, or plastic, whatever you wanted to. Pick them up with your water brush and use them like that. But the way that these are different from the Karen markers is I've pre-done these. I think I've used the purple, the blue, and the red, and they're not completely dry. They're you know they're semi-dry. I'm hoping I'm not going to make a mess here. I'm just going to use a spritz bottle and as you can see, wow, let me just zoom in, let me do the same with the blue, come on, I should have put more water in, so yeah, as you can see, so they, they do act, it's because I'm holding it sideways, this water bottle doesn't want to work, uh, you can see it a little bit better there now. But once that's dried completely, it sort of separates. It separates and it loops like distress ink. I've, I'll show you. I've, I've finished a page. It wasn't last night, the night before. I'll best move this or it's going to go everywhere. Let me just try and make it dry a little bit quicker. I can use this in backgrounds as well. Just let it dry, cut it out and stick it on. But I will insert a picture either up here or down there of the picture that I finished and you can see uh, what I'm talking about with the background. Whoops a daisy and now it's going everywhere. Right so the next thing I want to show you, I can't obviously demonstrate this because there's nothing to demonstrate, it's just a little teeny weeny pencil case and the reason that I got this is if I've got any whips I'm just using pencil which is rare for me but I do use pencil I can pop them in here instead of having them laying out on my desk or if I wanted to go and pull that on the sofa I can just take this tiny little pencil case over with me. It was only a cheapy little thing, it was about £7 but you know it'll do the job and I thought it was super cute. I don't actually know the name of the artist, is it gorgeous, gorgeous? 
I'm not sure, but there was a couple of different designs. There was an orange one, I remember. There was a red one, but I went for the purple. Right, so get my black acrylic ready. And this is the Dec uh, Decor Art Glamour Dust. Now, I first saw this on Colouring with K, her video, and I thought, I have to have that, I have to have that. And it's very, very similar to the Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. But it's not got the very very strong smell and it is just paint. So I imagine that you could mix this with watercolour, you could mix it with acrylic, you know, and it'll do the same sort of job. So I'm hoping I've got the light right at the side of me here. So I'm hoping that that picks it up. So I've just gone over with the Americana black acrylic paint for the background. And I'll just show you this now. We'll put it to one side, let it dry. And then I'll bring it back up to the camera because it won't be all that that white. It's uh, it dries completely see through, just sparkly. So I will pop that to one side. I just hope that I remember to reshow you again. <laughs> that's that's that one done. Right, the next one. If you're into any sort of stencils, anything like that, I'm just going to reuse this piece of paper. Waste not on that. I got this spray. The stick and spray spray. <laughs> I was having trouble. Like, I was holding my stencils in place, and then I'm going over with either my distressing or watercolor or whatever it is that I'm using, and I'm really struggling because my hands moving. So I thought, you know, I'm just gonna buy the spray. So I'm not used it yet. This is the first time. So I'm going to use it on the smoother side of the paper. I'm going to give it a little spray spray. Move it out the way. It looks a little bit like the, sn the snow that you used to put on your windows at Christmas. And I can 100% tell you that that works. That 100% works. I'm just going to leave that for a second. It says, uses include rubber, stamps, mounting stencils, temporary displays and scrapbooking. Uh, again, I think this was about 6 99 And you're getting, I'm in a mill. 250 mils, so that's going to last me quite a while. So let's just see. Is it going to fall off? No, it's not falling off. And the reason that I wanted the stamp is because I picked these up. The Nouveau Glimmer Pastes. So I have already swatched these out, and I'll quickly just show you the swatches that I very neatly not did in my book. Uh, which page is it? It's this one. So we've got a red, a brown, a very very dark purple burgundy at the top, a blue and a lime green and they do add, me and my textures, they do add a lovely texture. I'm going to show you how they work and I've got these Nouveau sparkles as well. I mean I can't really demonstrate them but let me just quickly show you. I did forget actually. <laughs> So these ones and these ones and you're probably thinking gosh how is she going to get them down on the paper without them going absolutely everywhere. Well the glue that I picked is actually, it's called a funky stick, it's actually bright purple and get the lid off. So it goes on purple and it does clear, uh, dry clear. But this little tool, it's just a wax pencil. And these easily pick up these little diamantes. Like if I put a few on my tray here, they easily pick them up, you know, to then pop them down. It just makes life so much easier. So that was the other thing that I almost forgot. I'm dropping everything everywhere now. I wouldn't mind if I reorganised everything. Was it last week? Well, we're going to have to do it again now. Anyway. So these little um, craft spatulas, I mean, I think they were a pound for a pack of five, the little kiddie ones. So I'm going to go in, we'll go in with the blue. Go in with the blue, and I haven't got a daily wipe. So it is literally just a very, very thick, thick paste. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have chosen blue because my spatula is blue, but hey, well. And all you do... 
I use and pop it onto the stencil like this. Get into all the little nooks and crannies. It is very messy, but I like I had to be messy. I just think it's fun. It's something completely different and it adds that little extra something to your pages. I mean, this is probably ideal as well if you're making cards. I'll go down this bottom bit here. I'll not bother with the stem because you'll get the idea from this. So I'm just wiping off the excess back in so I'm not wasting any. Pop the lid back on because it will dry out if you leave the lid off so do be careful of that. Right now how easily is this going to be? Very easy. Well I recommend that stick and spray so far. So you just lift it up and Ta -da! I think that's just, you know, it's gorgeous. Something just a little bit extra for your colouring pages. It's something completely different. I've not used, seen anybody use this technique in colouring pages. And I will try and insert a picture of um, a finished page. So the next thing that I wanted to show you was the fixident that I chose. I didn't actually know that it was it was made for pan pastels. But the reason that I got this is for pan pastels. I got it for colour pencil and for oil pastels. I've not used oil pastels in quite some time because every time that I was using it, if it wasn't a double page spread, like I hadn't done the full uh, two pages, and I'd say I'd just done this page, whenever I'd close the book, you know, you'd have all bits from the oil pastel on this side, so I thought... You know what, I'm going to try that spray and see how we get on. Right, I've found them. I had to go searching around for them then because I've moved everything around. So I've got the, the Pentel Oil Pastels, the pack of 50. I do keep these sideways, that's why they're not uh, in pretty order at the moment. But let's just give it a go. Let's just see. I don't know what the drying time is like on this, but we'll just go for it. So I'm going to go with quite a dark purple. First off, this is quite toothy paper, it's just a little cheapy uh, plain notepad that I've got. And then we'll go in with yellow. Because I know I've had um, one or two questions of why I don't I use oil pastels in my colouring pages for the backgrounds. Well, it was just because of that reason. I do know that they're easy to blend out. Um, but it's just the fact that, you know, on the opposite page. But I have got a fixident so I might do a more in-depth video actually with that so if I just blend these out just using my finger as you can see they are really easy to blend out if you don't like getting your hands messy you are not going to like these so I've got a baby wipe here just wipe my hands off and let's go in with this uh, fixident and see so we'll give it a good shake and I will spray it away from my desk. I've learned from the past mistakes. So I'm just going to leave that there for a second. Unfortunately, the only bit that isn't in English is the caution bit. So it doesn't say, it just says fast drying, extra fit, fit sedation, uh, super sized, acid free, can be used on every surface. And as you can see, it says they're suitable for pan pastels. So I will test that out at a later stage. I'll just give it a minute. I'm going to move the paper up and down to try and dry it a little bit quicker. And we'll see. Uh, it's made it's made the paper a tiny, tiny, tiny bit smoother. Let me just see. See, it's still smudging a bit. Maybe I've just not left it long enough but it's nowhere near as bad so I think I'm, I'm just going to have to test this product with all different things but my idea was if I've got a really 
pages that I'm really really proud of that I've done with colour pencils, pan pastels, whatever the idea would be to go over with that spray so I do know that it's it's protected um, and the very last things so I'll show you the the glitter glue, uh, the glitter paint the acrylic paint now that it's dry and it's got a lovely sheen to it and the very last thing I didn't buy this this was gifted from my friend Emma it was this dinosaur uh, pencil holder ND super cute it's called Rexer so he's living on my desk now next to my Lion King and my Jasmine <laughs> hugs so yeah that's everything I do hope that you enjoyed this little bit of a different um, video and I'll try and edit it and snip out the uh, the bits that I'm rambling on too much so do have a lovely weekend stay safe and I will speak to you soon Bye-bye.